All right, so for your notes on blood type genetics, before we get into practice problems, we need to talk a little bit about what the genotypes and phenotypes of blood are. So there are four known blood types, A, B, AB, and O blood. But, so four, but there are six possible genotypes. So this is what it breaks down into. Type A, you have homozygous, blood type A, or heterozygous. Type B, same thing, homozygous or heterozygous for blood type B. Type AB, there's only one, which this is technically codominance because you have an A and a B. And then type O, once again, only one, and this is recessive. So, the important thing to remember is that you will never, ever, ever separate these superscripts here from the eyes. Okay, so when you are doing the Punnett squares, you're doing it in terms of the eyes, and the letters stay attached to the eyes. Okay, now, also, make sure you make a note that you need to memorize these things. Okay, so when you are given genetics problems on your test, for example, you are not going to be given the genotype for whatever blood type is in the problem. You will need to know how to write it, whether it has capital I's, lowercase I's, A's, B's, you are going to need to know that. So make sure you take a minute, pause here, and make sure you have these genotypes written down, okay? So for our first practice problem, we're going to look at two individuals that are both heterozygous. So Carly is heterozygous for blood type A, and Corey is heterozygous for blood type B. So Carly is pregnant, and she wants to know the probability of her child's blood type. So first question, what are the genotypes of the parents? Well, we can identify that up here. So Carly's heterozygous for blood type A, so that means she'll be capital I with an A, and then a lowercase i. And then Corey is heterozygous for blood type B. So he'll be a capital I with a B, and a lowercase i. So to do 2 and 3, we're going to need to do a Punnett square. Once again, you should be happy to know that these will be basic 4 square Punnett squares. Okay? So, like I said, never ever separate the A's or B's from the I's. Okay, you always want to keep them attached. So when we fill this out, we'll fill it out alphabetically, so the A will come before the B. So phenotypic ratio. So I'm not going to ask you for genotypic ratios of blood types. That it just gets a little excessive. I'm really only going to focus on phenotypic ratios. So here we have AB blood. Here we have B blood. Here we have A blood. And here we have O blood. So it's a one-to-one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one ratio. So then lastly, what are the chances that their child is type A, B blood? So one out of four, which is also equal to 25%. Okay. All right, let's do the next one. So with the next one, I will help you with the initial setup, but then I want you to pause and do it on your own, okay? So in this story, Dimitri has type AB blood, and his wife Darcy has type O. Darcy's pregnant and is curious the probability of their child's blood type. So genotype of the parents. So Dimitri is going to be IA, IB, and Darcy is going to be two little I's. All right, I would like you to pause here and set up your Punnett square and solve for two, three, and four. All right, so your Punnett square should look something like this. And when we solve for our phenotypic ratio, we're going to get one, two that are A, 
to one, two, letter B. So then what is the chance their child will have type A blood? So that's two out of four, which is 50%. And then the next question, what is the chance that their child has the same blood type as one of the parents? Well, we only got A blood and B blood. So no one got AB and no one got O. So you could consider this a little bit of a trick question, but the answer would be zero. All right, lastly, before I let you get started on your practice problems, we need to talk about universal donor and universal recipient. So this will come up on your practice problems, but it's also something good to know. So if you have type O blood, you are considered a universal donor which means your blood can be given to any blood type. So any person with any blood type can receive type O blood. Type AB blood then, on the other hand, is a universal recipient or acceptor. So if you have type AB blood, you can receive all four types of blood. Okay, so take a second and maybe just sketch this chart out or write this down, but you definitely want to know that O is the universal donor and AB blood is the universal recipient or acceptor. Alright, so now it's time for you to work on your blood type practice problems.